The dark history behind the relationship of Corey Feldman and Martin Weiss. Hey guys, welcome back to Small Screen Shakedown. Corey Feldman's past. On the heels of the allegations of sexual misconduct made in Hollywood against Harvey Weinstein and many other powerful men, child actor turned singer Corey Feldman said he's on a mission within the industry to end pedophilia. In the past, the Stand By Me star spoke about this subject. In a 2011 interview on ABC, he claimed the number one problem problem in Hollywood was, and is, and always will be, pedophilia. Was going to those parties and getting that feedback from people that happened at those parties. Feldman also alleged in his 2013 book, Choreography, that he and his frequent co-star and pal, the late Corey Haim, were victims of sexual abuse and passed around to child predators. He said he couldn't name names at the time, but that's changed now, and he came forward to say exactly who the alleged abusers were. Here's who he named and what he's doing to try and expose other perpetrators. In Hollywood, he released a film about pedophilia. My Truth, The Rape of Two Corys is a 2020 American documentary film directed by Brian Herzlinger and produced by Corey Feldman and Arthur Jameson. In the film, Feldman also stars in the film. The film highlights allegations that several men linked to the entertainment industry sexually abused Feldman and fellow actor Corey Haim as children. During the 1980s, Feldman and Haim were child actors. The two were close friends and were referred to as the two Coreys. In a total of nine films together, Feldman and Haim appeared in a total of nine films together. Haim died of pneumonia in 2010 following a lengthy battle with drug addiction. Marty Weiss's past. As a talent manager who primarily worked with child actors, Marty Weiss made a name for himself in Hollywood in the 1980s. In the projects on TV channels such as Nickelodeon and Disney Channel, his clients would land parts. Among the several TV shows that have employed Weiss's customers are Good Luck Charlie, iCarly, Jack and Jill, and The Muppets. It was because of his reputation in the industry that Evan Henze's allegations came as a shock to everyone. Henze claimed that when he was a Evan, he'd been sexually assaulted by Weiss. Weiss had been hired by his parents to help push Evan forward in the music sector. He revealed that soon after Weiss took him under his wing, the abuse had begun. He repeatedly abused the boy over the course of three years, and it only stopped when he stepped down as his manager. He also used threats and intimidation to keep Henzi from speaking out. He threatened to ruin his career and convinced him that in their industry, such acts were quite common. It was when the 18-year-old Henzi realized that in 2012, there would also be other victims that he confronted Weiss in his flat. He taped the conversation, and this is what was used by the police to create a case against the talent manager. Reportedly, Weiss said that Henzi invited him to do it and claimed the Penn State situation was different because those kids didn't want it. Later, several people testified that Weiss had indulged in the behavior that would not be called very professional. Some of the acts that were brought to light were sleepovers at his place and road trips with underage, unsupervised clients. Marty Weiss's reaction. In 2012, Marty Weiss was sentenced to jail on child molestation charges. The police arrested Weiss after the report submitted by Henzi and his apartment was combed over to collect any other evidence that would incriminate him, but nothing was discovered. Weiss dissolved his company after his arrest and pleaded not guilty to eight counts of lewd acts with a child and sodomy. He settled for a plea bargain later, which helped him to receive a lighter sentence. As part of the deal, he was sentenced to one year in prison and five years on probation, while six charges were dropped. He was released for good behavior after six months in jail. He was made to sign the Register of Sex Offenders. He's a free man at present and is also active on social media platforms such as Twitter. One of the alleged abusers of Corey Feldman, Marty Weiss, has slammed the actor's recently released My Truth, The Rape of Two Corys documentary where he mentioned Weiss, the talent manager of the 80s, as one of the people who molested him when he was a child actor. It's hard finding friends on the streets in New York. 40 one of the alleged abusers of Corey Feldman, Marty Weiss, has slammed the actor's recently released My Truth, The Rape of Two Corys documentary. In Hollywood, Feldman had long promised an expose of high-profile celebrities who engage in pedophilia and continue working in the entertainment industry. The actor revealed the names of Charlie Sheen, Weiss, John Grissom, and Alfie Hoffman in his documentary on March 10, among the men who sexually assaulted him and his late best friend Corey Haim when they were children. Weiss, a registered sex offender, however, 
Weber took to Twitter shortly after the release of the film to suggest Feldman was a liar and was possibly conning people for their money. Why would Corey Feldman use my name, Weiss wrote on March 10, to make money from gullible followers, to falsely take credit for outing something in my past, to bash the Haim family, to separate himself from our friendship so no one would ever question if he and I have something in common. Hashtag truth. I appreciate you reaching out to me for comment regarding Corey Feldman and his false allegations, he said in a statement. I'm currently determining a legal response. My official response thus far must be limited to my tweets. Please feel free to read through those. What do you think about Corey Feldman and Marty Weiss's relationship? Do you believe Weiss abused Feldman as a child? Let us know in the comments section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.